All right, welcome to the podcast. We got Carter Jewel and Reese Cornish here. So, to start off, we're going to interview Carter Jewel about the new Cybertruck Elon Musk made. All right, well, uh, personally, I think the Cybertruck looks like it was drawn by a two-year-old. Um, it looks like it was drawn with gray crayon, so I don't really like how it looks. But I do believe that when Elon Musk threw the metal ball at the window, I feel he knew it was going to break. Because, in case you guys didn't know, Tesla doesn't advertise whatsoever. The only advertisement they have is Elon Musk's Twitter. Mm -hmm. So by breaking their own window, they got everyone talking about how dumb they are. But at the same time, they're all talking about the Cybertruck. And that is a smart method of advertising. What do you Back have to, to say, uh, Reese Cornish? Quick question for uh, Carter here. Uh, so, when you think that the Cybertruck's design was built to support itself and kind of advertise itself in the meme community? Um, yeah, I feel like uh, Elon Musk is really just all about the memes. Um he knew breaking that windshield was going to cause a lot of people to start making jokes, start posting about it. So now everywhere you go, everyone knows about the Cybertruck, even though it looks like it was drawn by a two-year-old and constructed by one. I see where you're coming from, Carter. Wasn't the uh, windows intended to be unbreakable? The windows were intended to be bulletproof, but... The ball, the ball didn't go through. It did crack, but I'd really like to see uh, the bulletproof element be put to the test. Hello, everybody. We've got another interview. Kane McLeod. Howdy. We're going to be uh, talking about the new Modern Warfare game today. So uh, to start out with, what's your views on the game in general? It sucks! <laughs> uh can you go in more depth, please? Everything is outrageously broken and overpowered. Well, when you say everything, like literally everything? Yes, everything. Absolutely everything. So give me three things. That's probably the worst. The players, the game itself, and everything in it. Very valid. All right. So when I uh, when I heard about this game, I don't have it. I don't have it yet. So my thoughts are, uh, when I hear most is uh, there's this overpowered shotgun. What are your thoughts on this? It's it's uh, it's not bad anymore, but it was really bad when the game came out. So so when you say bad, you mean like extremely good or bad? Well, I if hear you you could you could. Uh, you can snipe people with it from like yeah. football fields distance if like you were on each end of like the end zone, you know. Yeah, it's pretty long distance. And how long did it take them to fix this? Uh, about a week and a week and a half worth of three updates for that terrible gun. Okay, so uh, what is your favorite weapon in this game? I'd have to say the riot shield. <laughs> and why is the riot shield your favorite weapon? Because it's 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 uh you can uh you can take a guided missile to the face with it. What is a uh, guided missile? Imagine you're flying in a uh, plane and you drop bombs on like <laughs> and like in. <laughs> Like you're dropping bombs on like an ISIS stronghold, and imagine like you have like an AC-130 pilot shooting down like a giant missile that it can be like controlled with some like super cool technology, and then you get blown up by it. But you don't get blown up by it because the riot shield deflects it. Oh yeah, the riot shield can deflect it if you look at it in the air while well, with it out. How long do you think uh, it'll stay in the game until they fix it? Uh, probably forever because they take so long to take uh, to update the game because the game sucks. 
Do you think the riot shield should be able to de- deflect these missiles? No, because that is not humanly possible. Have you ever seen a man get hit with a missile where they were carrying a riot shield? Yes, because I've done it. In real life. Oh, yeah, of course. No, we're not done. We're not All right, done. never mind, we're not done. <laughs> All right, we'll keep going. The campaign, uh, you can kill, you can shoot kids, but it doesn't, but it doesn't let you because it makes you restart. <laughs> but and when you say kids? I mean, like, you can shoot a newborn baby in the head with a... Uh, <laughs> with a desert eagle which and is, uh, your thoughts you know, so, you know when I first did it I thought it was pretty cool but then I realized I was killing a child <laughs> but killing babies isn't cool so if you ever buy a gun and you is have this to supposed kill, to be funny uh, I think they put it in the game just you know because a lot of people want to kill newborn babies which I was one of them but otherwise it's not it's not a pretty good thing to do so what are your thoughts on the challenges in this game? I heard on one mission you can carry a cinder block throughout the whole entire thing. Well, I didn't do that, but I heard it's pretty challenging because you're being bombarded from every direction in a uh, sand hut by Russian soldiers. So, uh, I personally have completed this challenge, and it's pretty hard. So uh, do you think there's any like really good reward for carrying the cinder block throughout the entire mission? No. 30 gamer score. Is that a lot? Depends on who you're asking. Okay. Next topic. Uh, so, the last and final game mode of this game is Special Ops. How do you feel, Kane? Near impossible. It sucks. It's stupid. There's no good missions. And they're all completely hard. You can't beat them. So, uh... Apparently in the past two games, Special Ops was actually extremely fun and players loved it a lot, but it's different for this game. What are your thoughts on that? Well, they took a different approach for the game and apparently the game still sucks! And uh, the Spec Ops didn't get any better and in fact they made it harder and nearly impossible. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not fun. So you think they uh, did this because they thought players were better at the game or... They wanted to bring a new uh, immersive experience towards Spec Ops, and uh, it didn't really make it any better. It made it uh, a lot worse. So, I hear they made uh, Survival PS4 exclusive. Oh, well, PlayStation's pretty good still, but... All right, that was Caden McLeod <laughs> with the new Modern Warfare. Well, I'll see you guys in the next one.